All right, welcome back to the Chelan Community Gardens uh, videos on how to use the website. In this little video, I want to show you how to add a picture um, to your blog post. So from the uh, website, again, log in. Once you're logged in, you go to the dashboard. When you get to the dashboard, um, you are going to go to your posts. Go to all your posts. Select one of the posts that you want to add or click on a new one. We're going to edit this one. It's called adding a picture. And now we're click wherever you want the picture to go. You're going to be able to choose right or left later, but just click on the line you want it. Now choose add media. Now you're going to upload a file and you're going to upload a file that is from your computer. So you've taken the picture with your camera, your phone, or whatever. You put it on your computer, on your hard drive. Click on Upload Files. Choose Select Files. And I'm just going to choose one here um, that I already have on my computer. Okay, great. So there is the picture that I uploaded, whatever that thing is. And over on the right side, what you're going to see are the attachment details. So you can give it a title. It's like add a picture. Now this is interesting. Caption is what appears underneath. Okay. So I'm going to make it Chelan picture. And that's what's actually going to show on the web page if you want a caption underneath your picture. If you don't, just leave it blank. The alternate text is more for uh, search engine stuff. It's what will show up when you put the mouse over it. So we can put um, test picture. And then you can put a description, and that's really for search engines. Uh, if people are searching in images, um, this will show up. We're not going to bother with that. When we go to the bottom, now these are important and interesting. The alignment. You can choose none, left, center, or right. You should choose either left or right. Um, if you choose the center, you're going to have text above and below. If you choose left or right, the text will wrap. So I'm going to put it to the right. Now. Linking to the file means that if you click on it, it's going to show the full size picture. If you want it, you can uh, set it to link to an, a custom URL, another website or something. Nothing really to worry about here. And then the size. You can either show, choose the full size, um, which would be huge and would not be appropriate. Um, but you can choose the large, which would be the full width. A medium, which is 300 pixels. That's typically what I like. Or a thumbnail which would just be a very small little picture um, that you put on the page. So I'm going to choose medium and then you simply press insert into post. There it is. Okay. So now what we can do in advance is we can view this post. Uh, let me see. Preview. Okay. Without saving it or anything, we can press preview. To look at this post called adding a picture. Notice there's the picture, there's the caption that I gave it, and when I click on it, it's going to show the full size image. Okay, then to get out of that, we simply go back and we're here on um, our post again. All right, so when you're doing a real post and you want to put in a picture, you're just going to go to the dashboard. Okay, you're going to click on the line where you want to add the picture. You're going to go up here, click on Add Media. And then you're going to um, add your picture from your hard drive. Choose the size you want. Choose a caption if you want. And then insert it into the post. Now, if you want to edit this picture once it's in, click on it. Click on the little picture. And it's going to bring up the editor. Now you can change the size of the picture. Make it smaller or bigger. You can change the alignment, move it over to the left. You can change the caption or the text. So let's for the caption say um, my second caption. And you will update. Notice now the picture is on the left like we wanted it and it has the new caption. Okay, go back here. One more uh, option here called advanced settings. And in here again, you can change the size. Um, choose a custom size that you want. You can put a border on the picture if you want. 
um, usually one pixel is enough. You can give it spacing around and you can do some advanced link settings. But I'll just do this. And when you come back, you're going to have this border now around the picture. Okay, that's how you add a picture. Again, a review, click on the line where you want the picture to go, choose Add Media, upload your files. Okay, going to upload your files, and then we're going to uh, we're going to select the files. Once you select it, I'm going to go over here and choose your alignment and your size and your caption, and then insert it into the post. Okay, well that's what we have for you on adding a picture. Uh, good luck with this. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll help you so that you can add um, all the posts you want and make our website as good as possible. Thanks a lot.